Hi, it's Pat Patterson with the Best of California Award, and I'm here with California artist Robert Deloney. Hey, Robert. Hey, Pat. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. So you are a successful California artist turned YouTube star, and I know some of your background. You studied at the uh, uh, Art Center uh, College. Give me that again. Art Center College of Design. Art Pasadena. Center College of Design. I knew it in Pasadena. Right. So what did you start out doing there? I was an illustration major and graduated and became an illustrator for a very brief uh, stormy period of my life yeah. and then uh, decided that that wasn't where I wanted to be yeah. uh, and moved on, moved in and started a little Christmas ornament company just to survive. I remember. Which blew up into a big thing for a yeah. couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so sculpting started to become a passion of yours. And tell me a little bit about how that progressed. I know you got into film and TV work. You and I worked together on Disney stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, it was it was you, obviously, who got me into into doing entertainment work. And I've appreciated uh, but, uh, the residuals ever since. I've been pretty, pretty yeah. Uh, well, you've got pretty much gotten paid all the residuals. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, no, but uh, it was the ornaments really pointed to me into three D, and I, I just sort of realized I'm a lot more of a sculptor than I am a, a renderer or a drawer. Okay. So the sculpture just is, is a natural fit for me. And I also discovered I can make more different things. And um, like when I was an illustrator, there was 8 billion illustrators in LA. Really? And when you started me doing the toy sculpting for the studios and stuff, there weren't that many of us and we were in demand yeah. um, and I was busy and I could do it. And that was the, so that worked great. And that was a, that was a very important and lucrative part of my career. Yeah. And it also is the reason I have a YouTube channel now, yeah. because without the years and years of sculpting and mold making and casting resin that I did for the studios, yeah. I wouldn't have the expertise that I'm now teaching on YouTube and yeah. I wouldn't have the studio to do it in and all that stuff. So it, one thing was always one, one step after it, one thing went to another and it, it just builds on itself. Yeah. So, and, and you did this type of thing we did for Disneyland cup toppers right. and a lot right. of food, food service stuff, uh, hot dog plates and cup <laughs> toppers and, and all kinds of fun <laughs> product for Disney things. Yeah. Antenna balls we have behind me here. Very um, and, yeah. and, and now you're a YouTube uh, a guru and, oh, and I love it. Well, it's so great because I mean, I think the lesson, you know, or that lesson, but the example you have is you've reinvented yourself. You've, You've constantly listened to the marketplace, maybe not willingly all the time. Right. Actually you said, right. oh, okay, let's go this direction. Not surprisingly, that's when I've been successful is when I listen okay. to the marketplace. The rest of the time I'm starved. And, yeah. uh, and uh, you know, it's fun to be an artist and do your own thing and stuff. But it's also really fun to do stuff that's out there and people participate in. And, you know, you have an audience. It's fun to have an audience. So quick, quick version of your YouTube journey. How did, how did it start and when did it take off? Well, I, I started it just as an artist doing sculptures and character design and, and a little of everything, uh, sculpting and painting and mold making and casting. And I was going nowhere very rapidly. And, uh, it, you know, it was months and months and months of grinding out videos for a couple hundred subscribers. Right. And then one day I made a, a movie that was basically all about mold making and casting. Okay, just and, a, a uh, do-it-yourself kind of a instructional video yeah just how to how to do that if you have a, you have a sculpture you want to make copies of it how do you do that you make a mold and you pour resin etc and uh i and that that video just took off and suddenly that one video had more views than the other 40 videos i made put together wow and uh and i went oh that's what my audience wants to see ding, ding, and ding, that's ding 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 ding, ding. <laughs> and i said let's just make just for, just as a test, let's just make a bunch of videos on that subject, wow. just on that niche subject. And and also the gurus that I was paying attention to pounded it in, niche, niche, niche. You have to know exactly what your audience is and who you're talking to and why. Yeah. And anyway, so that's what I did. I made videos about that and then my channel just took off. Yeah, yeah. I've been growing ever we'll, since. We'll, we'll put a link to your channel because so people can see it. So yeah. so the, the, the bottom line in terms of being an artist and making a living, living creatively it sounds like is to listen to be somebody that listens to the customer or the marketplace and be willing to reinvent yourself 
I, you know, I don't know. I, you know, then you can point to artists who have relentlessly done only what they like in okay. art or in every major museum. We hate that. Uh, but, but well, you know, good, good for them. They found their thing. For yeah. me, it never, it, it, it is my best phases of my career have always come from when I was, you know, participating in a marketplace and working, you know, for and with people. And uh, I still enjoy just doing whatever I do by myself in a room. Yeah. But, you know, there's, if, unless you ultimately catch on and people, you know, want that from you and create that, yeah. you, know, you just, it's very hard to get to that point. I never got there particularly once in a while, like my ornaments yeah. and my right. sculpts sold well. My work is sold well, but, um, I, yeah. I think it's just better to know who you're talking to and who your who your audience is. Who your audience. So you're you're an inspiration to a, a lot of artists. So the name of the channel, just my name, just Robert, Robert Talone. I Americanized my name to Talone because right. I can pronounce it. You yep. know, we killed the uh, old Italian pronunciation. I've known you too. I've known you too. Oh, you're an old school guy. You're my old friends. You can you so. can tell you can tell by what we call you. That's all Robert right. Talone. We appreciate, so, your, we appreciate your time. And you're in the Naples, Long Beach area, right, Robert? Yeah. Yep. Beautiful part of right. California. Pat Patterson with the Best of California Award with Robert Talone. We'll show you his info. See you soon. Thanks, Pat. Thank you.